Roger, what's the uh, the real life of a hockey announcer like? The real life, you wouldn't believe it. This is it. M. Masochistic. It seems like so much fun. You're on the road to those big cities, Hershey. Top Sherbrooke. shelf cities, big markets. <laughs> St. Catharines, Ontario, population 78. It's a lot of fun. Is hockey your life, though? No, it isn't. Radio is my life. Roger Neal shows what a life of hockey and radio can do <laughs> to a normal human being. Yes, but Bob, the big story on Action News tonight <laughs> is the move from this place to the Security Mutual Building. Just so the folks listening back home <laughs> will be able to know that uh, today I work news, and that's why I'm in this sorry state that I'm in, um, because there was so much happening, and... Our uh, Ear Witness News crew is uh, everywhere, Endicott, J.C., Endwell. We have made a trek to Nineveh, and, and we're going down to Halstead, Pennsylvania for a big story on the Dad's Dog Food Convention. Roger Neal, a man and his life. Yes. Thank you for being our guest in the WNBF newsroom. WNBF 1290, what a great day it is outside. And a great day of broadcasting we'll have for you all day long. Broad Avenue at well, I can't say that I have, Bob. Uh, what are your thoughts now? Just <laughs> apparently minutes away from your first flight. That's a good question. I don't even know. I'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Something, uh, do you plan to be up there for more than a few minutes? or? I hope uh, it's more than a couple minutes because if we go up fast, we'll come down fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're lucky today. You picked it. If you had to go up in a balloon any day, this is the, probably the most perfect day for it. Yeah, it is. We're looking for a big crowd here and everything, so... Uh, I guess if we fall out, we'll make a spectacle of ourselves. <laughs> excited here because we're going to be going up in this uh, helium balloon. And right now, they took it for a short uh, test flight, only about uh, 15 or 20 feet in the air. We'll be going up publicly on the air live from the helium balloon in uh, our next break here on WNBF. Of course, what's happening today is the annual tent sale and power demo sale at the Binghamton Angway at 145 Broad Avenue. A lot of folks on hand. Matter of fact, a lot of folks gathering around now watching this big helium balloon being inflated. You're lucky. <laughs> Some days it's too windy and they can't go up. Today, you're in luck. It's <laughs> a good day. Oh, yeah. Getting ready. Roger Neal is sports director at WNBF WQYT Radio in Binghamton. He spent the early years of his life in Slippery Rock, Pennsylvania, and graduated from Westminster College. He worked as sports director at WJAC Radio in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and earned an AP Sports Writing Award there. He is best known locally as the voice of the Binghamton Whalers. Roger, getting ready for the Whalers, I'm sure. Not yeah, too not too much back. longer. This is a, a type of area that uh, high school sports are very big, and they should be, but we're also... Uh, a little bigger type area than maybe some other ones where high school sports are the only thing. Stop by Cliff Richard, that's Daddy's Home at WNBF. It's now 18 before 9. Good evening to you. You're in tune with the Dave Freeman Show until midnight. Roger Neal for Dave Freeman. Right now 72 degrees here at Courthouse Square. We'll update the AccuWeather forecast in just a few minutes right here on WNBF. The difference in the southern tier. <laughs> That's from Jimmy Dorsey, and that is so rare indeed at WNBF. 14 before 9 the time. Here's Linda Ronstadt. And it's kind of easy for you to say. We're back here between periods 1 and 2 at the arena. Just talking with Mike Andrews of WNBF as uh, he was participating in the room ball game between periods 1 and 2 here tonight with the famous San Diego Chicken. <laughs> Oh my goodness, videotape. We got a cameraman in here videotaping us. She was 
Roger, probably the highlight of your morning is taping Rush Limbaugh off the satellite feed. Uh, aside from doing this during the 7 o'clock hours, or anything else you can really look forward to? Absolutely. When you go get coffee for us, try to contain your excitement. Okay. I, I tried to get you that job as corporate program director, but I guess it wasn't to be. <laughs> Thank goodness. One's enough. All they wanted you to do was work a few more hours a day. Hey, yeah, plenty to spare. You know, maybe work a little on the weekends. <laughs> We're not asking for any major sacrifice. Living for the weekend. Right. I just wanted to let Gladys know that I've been compiling uh, well, future Mets schedules teams and some BC Open reports for the year 2010. We want to get them in in time. <laughs> and, and so uh, I hope that uh, these will be sufficient just in case she's interested. Nicely done. Uh, <laughs> With a look at sports. Hi, Roger. Hey, Russ, good morning. And the World Youth Classic gets underway in just about an hour and 20 minutes. Outstanding tournament once again put together by Gil Wood. It makes it better for fishing because the fish are sort of condensed into one moist area and you can just go in there and drop rocks in them. It's 18 minutes after 6 at WNBF News Radio 1290 with the morning team and time to check in with Roger Neal on sports. And Russ, good morning on WNBF News Talk 1290. And uh, on the sports scene, take a look at some sports here on WNBF News Talk 1290. And our sports being brought to you by Overhead Door Company at 302 Front Street in Binghamton. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the first morning of broadcast from the brand new Wix Broadcast Central. Roger Neal starting at left guard. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Joseph starting at left out. And me, trying to figure out how anything works. It's Tuesday, December 2nd. And in 90 seconds or so, first local newscast. Aha! Twenty-seven degrees at WNBF News Radio 1290. That's sports time with Roger Neal. Hey, Tony, good morning, and if you didn't make it to the end of Monday Night Football last night, the Green Bay Packers made it to the playoffs. Now they have their sights set on a first-round bye. Last night, they came up with a 27-11 thumping of the Minnesota Vikings, Dorsey Levens, rushing for 108 yards, so they'll learn more about uh, the Big Women's Program. By the way, they'll be in action Saturday, hosting Old West Ferry, one of the top of women's teams in the country. Last night, Scouts were beat them, but uh, we'll give them a shot here on Saturday, Old West Ferry. Hey, then we take a look at traffic and weather from the WMBF First News Center. A chance of some showers around today, maybe a thunderstorm or two, and a cloudy day in store with a high of 82. By tonight, some showers, maybe a thunderstorm, clouds low 64. Tomorrow, there's a 30% chance of some showers around, otherwise partly sunny and 79. Then for Sunday, things dry out sunny and 70. Right now in the heart of downtown Binghamton, it's 66. Stay tuned, we have news on the way. Kathy's update, and then it's Big of a Dow Open Line Friday with Bob Joseph on your hometown station. We are AM Radio, WNBF Big of the I'm Roger Neal. Have a great weekend. News, I'm Angela Becerra. As the protests continue after the death of George Floyd and... That's a wrap.